Hi, this is Spec Explains Physics. Once again, welcome to my channel. Okay, so today we are going to learn about free for motion. We will solve one question. So let us read this question together. A bullet was fired vertically upwards from the top of a building and reached a height of 1,600 meter. It then falls to the ground below. The total time of flight is 38 seconds. So from here we can see that the bullet goes from the top of the building until it reaches the maximum height. So the height is 1600 meter. And then it falls back down to the ground. The total time taken is 38 seconds. So here there is a picture to illustrate this uh, situation. Uh, we should always draw a picture to visualize the situation. So the bullet, yeah, it goes from the building top and reach a height of 1,600 meter. Uh, so this is the maximum height. And then after that, it falls back to the ground. So the total time taken from the building top to the maximum height and then go back to the ground is 38 seconds. All right. So now let us do the first questions. Part A. What was the speed? at which the bullet leaves the gun. Uh, so the question asks for the speed when it leaves the gun. So here it means you want to find the initial speed. Uh, so let us uh, see this question. So uh, information given is okay the question asks for initial speed uh, when it uh, starts going up, okay? uh, it goes up to the maximum height. So the displacement taken is a positive 1600 meter, positive because it is going up. And then when it reaches the maximum height, of course, the velocity is zero because it stopped temporarily there. And then the acceleration is negative g because uh, gravity always acting downwards. Okay. So from here, we can see there are four variables uh, available. Uh, we want to find the initial speed. Uh, it goes to the maximum height. The velocity is zero, okay, V. And then we have displacement and then acceleration. Uh, so we have VUAS. So what's the formula about VUAS, VUAS? Uh, v square equal to U square plus 2AS. Okay, let us uh, do these questions. So, uh, V square equal to U square plus 2AS. Uh, okay. So, the final velocity is 0. Uh, U square plus 2. A is negative G because gravity acting downward. So, it's negative. Displacement uh, going to the maximum height is 1,600 meter. Okay. So, after we calculate, we will get the initial velocity is equal to 177.1 uh, meter per second. Uh, so, the, velo the velocity is positive because it is acting upwards. Right? Now, let us do the part B. Yeah? So, from what height? Uh, above the ground was the bullet fired. So this one asks about the height, uh, where the bullet is fired. Okay, height uh, where the bullet was fired means uh, we can see, imagine like this. The bullet is fired from the building top. So the height where the bullet was fired okay, from the ground is actually the height of the building, isn't it? So, what information was given? Okay, so we need to find the height of the building. Yeah, height of the bullet was fired is actually the height of the building. Okay, so information given is the bullet goes up and go back down to the ground. The total time taken is 38 seconds. And then just now we got the initial speed where the bullet was fired. The initial speed is 177.18. Uh, let, let us write it down. Okay. Uh, the initial speed is 177.18 when the bullet was fired. 
when the bullet was fired. So initial speed, we got the initial speed. We got the total time taken until it hit the ground. Okay, acceleration is always negative g, constant because gravity never change. Gravity always acting downward, downward. So that's why it's negative. Okay. So now we need to find to find to find the height of the building means we need to find the total displacement, isn't it? You see, the bullet was fired. This is the initial point, and then it goes up and goes back down until it hit the ground. Hitting the ground here is the final point. So to find to find the height of the building actually is the displacement from initial point to the final point. Isn't it? Ah, uh, don't don't think that the displacement is go up, go back down. Ah, uh, that is distance, not displacement. Displacement is the shortest distance between initial point and final point. So the displacement is just from initial point, the building top, to the ground. Ah, uh, that is the displacement going downward. Okay, so we already have the initial speed. And then we have the total time taken, 38 seconds. We have the acceleration due to gravity, negative g. So we want to find the total displacement. So we have S U A T, S U A T, SWAT. Uh, so what formula is the SWAT? Okay. So uh, let us do it. Yeah. So SWAT uh, is S equal to U T plus half. A T square uh, or suta. All right. Okay. So uh, substitute the information. Once initial speed is one seven seven point one eight. The total time taken is thirty eight second, and then plus half A is negative G. Uh, G. And then T is uh, thirty eight second square. Okay. Uh, G is G itself is positive. Positive nine point eight one. Uh, only the only the a is only the a is negative g, but the g itself is positive value. So we just substitute g with positive nine point eight one, yeah, into it, um, and then the negative is outside, yeah, maintain. So what's the value? Okay. So after we calculate, we got that the displacement is equal to um, negative three four nine. Point nine eight meter. Huh. So what does it mean by the negative sign here? The negative sign means um, this uh, displacement is uh, below the initial point. Uh, below initial point. Negative means uh, the final point is below below the initial point. That's why it has negative. Okay. Uh, so the maximum height, of course, maximum height has the, the height of the building, of course, has no negative sign. So we should write again uh, the height is 349.98 meter. Okay? Uh, the negative sign of displacement it means that the final point is below the initial point. Okay? The height of the building itself is positive value. Okay. Now let us go to part C. What was the speed of the bullet when it hit the ground? So the question asks for the speed when it hit the ground. Okay. Uh, so how to do these questions? Okay. The speed of the bullet hitting the ground. So speed of the bullet hitting the ground. So ah, uh, so speed hitting the bullet. Uh, the speed of the bullet hitting the ground is actually the final speed. Okay, so what information we have? We have the initial speed. Uh, initial speed, speed just now is um, uh, 177.18. Okay, and that is the initial speed. And then uh, we initial speed. And then we have the total time taken, 38 seconds. And then the acceleration is negative g, always uh, constant, negative because acting downward, gravity acting downward. So we already have what we have v u a t what uh, we have what so what formula is what uh, v equal to u plus a t uh, let us do it now yeah 
So we use the formula what? V equal to U plus AT. Uh, okay? So the final speed when you're hitting when the final speed when you're hitting the ground. Okay? So the initial speed is uh, 177.18 uh, and then the A is negative G time taken is 38 seconds so final velocity we have negative negative 195.6 meter per second uh, so why why is it the velo final velocity as negative uh, because the direction velocity is going downward uh, the, the direction is going downward so you should write here the final velocity hitting the ground hitting the ground so it's downward the direction is downward uh, so the V is negative okay so now let us do the final question part D sketch the velocity time graph for the motion of the bullet uh, so the question asks for a velocity time graph yeah need to draw a velocity time graph so what information we have here to draw the velocity time graph of the bullet okay so information we have here is uh, okay we have the initial speed initial speed uh, 177.18 what, what, what again 177.18 okay the initial speed until it reached the maximum height the uh, velocity over here is zero until it uh, goes back down here the final velocity here is uh, negative 195.6 uh, meter per second okay and we can imagine that the when it goes up the velocity is positive isn't it uh, goes up but the velocity is decreasing yeah it's slowing down slowing down slowing down until it becomes zero when it goes back down it's speeding up going faster and faster yeah but the thing is when it goes up the velocity is in positive direction because going up going up velocity is positive going down velocity is negative so how to draw this velocity time graph so we know that um, okay we can just draw now we have the initial speed so the initial speed is uh, 177.18 okay uh, uh, it's positive value because it's going going up okay it's going up positive value but it's decreasing it means slowing down uh, the velocity is decreasing slowing down so it is slowing down uh, until the velocity becomes zero uh, velocity becomes zero here means it reached the maximum height uh, over here is maximum height yeah that means uh, this one uh, velocity zero yeah and then it comes back down velocity now is become negative because velocity going down going downwards velocity is negative yeah uh, so now velocity is increasing but in opposite direction velocity negative uh, so now velocity is increasing again but in negative direction uh, okay uh, in negative direction until it hit the ground at a uh, velocity equal to negative 195.6 okay 195.6 uh, this is where it hit the ground okay at what time at what time the total time taken is 38 seconds uh, so just right here 38 seconds at time 38 seconds so from here we can see uh, over this part uh, the velocity is the velocity is a positive value the velocity is positive value because it is going up huh? going up but it is decelerating here is decelerate okay because velocity now is uh, is uh, decreasing okay uh, but 
over the part below here, the velocity is negative. Ah, uh, yeah, negative. Yeah, we can say the velocity positive just now is going up. Okay, it's going up. Uh, velocity negative means this part is going down. Uh, but it is accelerating. Here is accelerating. Accelerating. V, the velocity is increasing. Okay? Uh, okay? And then another thing is, you can see um, the gradient of the graph is always constant. Uh, why the gradient of the graph is always constant? Because, yeah, uh, you see the gradient is always constant. Uh, because the gravity is negative g, the acceleration is due to gravity. And gravity, you see, it has a negative gradient all the time because the gravity is acting downward. Alright? Uh, so that's all for uh, the velocity time graph. So I hope you must label the, the initial velocity, the final velocity, and the total time taken. So you must, beside drawing the graph, you must also label the value. It's very important. Of course, you must uh, write the symbol velocity with the unit, time with the unit. Okay, that's all for the velocity time graph. So I hope you enjoy the lesson for today. Uh, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, hope that you stay tuned for the upcoming videos. Thank you for watching.